Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Quick lesson today, in this video we're going to talk about how you can spice up your pentatonic scale by using odd note groupings. In particular, we're going to take a look at groupings of five notes, so quintuplets. So that's a very easy way to make the pentatonic scale sound more interesting. Also, we're going to combine that with hybrid picking to make things a little bit easier, in my opinion, and um, to make it sound even more interesting and fresh. Right, so here's what I mean. Um, let's take C minor pentatonic, for, for example. I'm sure you know the shape. I'm gonna basically take five notes from this pentatonic scale and I'm gonna play 16 notes lines in groups of five. So five notes at a time, basically. Right, that's the first five notes of the scale. Then I start from the second note of the scale. And I play five more notes. And so on, I proceed down further down the scale. One more time, very slow, pay attention to the grouping. Again, groups of five notes, but we're gonna play that in 16 notes. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that, that basically is gonna offset the pattern by one sixteen note every beat. So that's why it's gonna sound more interesting. <laughs> Basically, you keep playing 16 notes, but you're grouping notes in the scale by five at a time. You can obviously do all kinds of combinations with that in mind. You can play descending down the scale. And especially in this case, uh, you can use hybrid picking to make life a bit easier. Since we have basically every time notes on different strings, we can use hybrid picking to reach, to reach the highest string. Like in this case, uh, I'm gonna play the first note with the hybrid picking. So with my middle finger. And then on the B string, I'm gonna play that with the pick. As well as the G string. So that's basically hybrid, pull off, pick, pull off, pick, and then again, hybrid, pull off, pick, pull off, pick, hybrid, and so on. So th this way, basically every time we play, we would have uh, to switch, you know, uh, from picking one string to the next one. Instead, we, we use the hybrid picking, so we use the middle finger to reach the higher string. This way, I think switching in between strings is a bit easier because Otherwise, you ha you'd have to, you know, use alternate picking, and you know that can sometimes lead to like awkward picking situations. At least for me, if you know me, you know that uh, I don't really like to pick too much. I try to avoid that as much as I can. And also, this way, you get a really fluid sound, and uh, you get basically you hide the fact that you're changing strings all the time. So, so yeah, it's gonna sound much smoother and much flu much more fluid, in my opinion. So yeah, that's the idea. You can obviously apply that to every every shape that you want. You can obviously use different pentatonics at the same time, especially the, the G minor one works really well in C minor, obviously, and the one built on, on a fifth above, because it's gonna give you that nice ninth interval, right? So you can easily combine the two. You can 
also try that with minus seven arpeggios as well. That will work really well. So yeah, that's the idea. Let me know if you tried that. Let me know how that goes. And um, as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to leave some likes and comments, which are always appreciated. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.